That's the dispatch note. Big thanks, apparently. I don't know what's in there. I'll have a look in a minute. Okay, we have. Oh, those are LM3900 OP amps, 10 of those. Those are to fix missing space invader cells, um, Tato and Midway space invaders. Uh, small PCB spacers, that's for my uh, test bench project. Uh, standard bag of PCB uh, spacers that go in between double stack PCBs, they're good for two layer arcade PCBs. Uh, 91 volt xenodires. All oh, right, yeah, those are to reduce the high voltage on Williams pinball machines, um, like System Six, System Seven stuff. Uh, a different size of PCB spacer. Uh, 1K resistor networks. Those are often found in between interboard connects on multi-layer arcade PCBs. What's that? That's a bag of. Tip 102s. Oh, those are Williams WPC drive transistors. 32mm 4 amp fuses, quite a common one to blow in pinball machines. Oh, that'll be. Ow, it stabbed right. Ah, it's a filter capacitor for a Williams. Yeah, that's, that's a filter capacitor suitable for Williams System 6. Battery for my multimeter. Some bolts for my uh, test bench project. Some more bolts. And those will be matching nylock nuts. Those are the nuts like a nylon insert that, that makes them like. You know, they're sort of hard to remove deliberately so they stay on and don't loosen themselves. What's that? That's just uh, 32 mil fuses, um, 8 amp fast blow. Those again for pinball machines. Duracell Pro Cell, these are like their industrial version rather than the consumer. Um, just These are double A batteries. I'm going to replace all the batteries in all my pinball machines. You should do that every year just to make sure they don't leak and it retains the memory. I think I've got two boxes there, so they're quite reasonably priced, so I've got a few. And the last item in this one is a transformer, I believe. Yes. So it's a uh, 1202 volt. Well, it's actually a, it's got two 12 volt AC secondary windings. Um, so you need to basically send to tap it. So you've got 12012 for this is for a Williams WPC pinball machine for my Indiana Jones. Uh, the reason is I don't have the proper WPC DCS transformer, so it doesn't have the correct audio voltage. So basically, I'm going to wire up a separate transformer for that. Um, this was quite a good deal actually. I think it was about a pound more than a 10 VA transformer, and this is a 50 VA, so it's nice, heavy duty transformer, something that should hopefully last. That's that box. Um, there we go. Alright, this is just isopropyl. Yeah, basically, for some reason, I think there's some sort of restriction on posting. Basically, Farnell ship anything that's flammable or, or sort of like chemicals separately, and there's like an extra day's delay. Not entirely sure what regulation that is, but basically, this stuff is fantastic for cleaning PCBs and contacts, and you know, it's general stuff you're going to come across in arcade machines and pinball machines. Um, reason it's good is because it's a solvent, it doesn't, you know, there's no water, it doesn't leave moisture and you don't get corrosion, so it's really good for PCBs, that. Uh, what's this? Web Electro, oh this will be some test leads I think, I can see them actually. Right, what these are, let's just open them up. These are like multimeter plugs, so they've got the standard, the, uh, the what they call 4mm plugs on them. And then it's got little uh, little grabbers that you can grab onto component legs or IC legs. So that's quite handy to have for measuring you know, voltages at, at the IC level on boards. Um, and this one is going to be the alcohol. <laughs> this is uh, 
big bottle, well, one litre bottle of isopropyl alcohol, bought from eBay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably not legal to post it like that. Oh, it's even leaked. The label's wet. Uh, that's not very safe. It was cheap, but uh, that's fairly dodgy. Um, I've actually got an empty metal tin from another, from, from one I've already used up a proper bottle of stuff, so I'm going to transfer it into the metal tin. Don't really want to have this milk carton like bottle full of flammable liquid sitting around the house, so uh, I'm going to swap that over. Yeah, it's leaking, it's got, it's bloody wet. Ugh. Right, that's it for today. I'm going to go and play with my gadgets and, well, fix some things. See you later.